Hey, y'all, Jim Banky here. I want to address a question that I get asked a lot. And it's referring to Foggy Mountain Breakdown. And it's referring to that role that we use. And usually the first time we encounter it, it's in Foggy Mountain Breakdown. And, and, and y'all always ask me the same question. And I always give you the same answer. But I thought I'd just try to throw this out here and hopefully talk about a couple of the reasons why I do it that way that I do it and other players do it the way that they do it and the reason why I generally discourage you from doing it the way that just about everybody asks me. So the role in question is this 2121 5215 role. So and the way I do it is here let me turn so you can watch a little bit. So index middle thumb middle thumb index middle thumb so two one two one and the question that comes up is jim why can't i just go index middle index middle five two one five and not drag my thumb all the way down all the way down to the second string and hey i get it i mean that that could be that could be like a logical question. And, and so let's look at that. So two, one, two, one. Or the way I do it, two, one with the index and then with the thumb. So you could go index, middle, index, middle. Or you could go index, middle, thumb, middle. So why do I do it that way? Well, the first thing that occurred to me when doing it is that when I use my thumb, it adds a little extra oomph on that thumb note. So, two, one. So it kind of pops a little more. So it, it, it creates a different feel uh, and, and, and a little extra tone. It changes the timing just a little, a little bit, not not a whole lot, but but there is a difference, and it's more comfortable. Now you say, but Jim, it's more comfortable for me to go index middle, index middle. Right now it is, but later on down the road, it's probably going to be more comfortable to use your thumb. So let's look at a roll pattern because really. Uh, I learned the role that we use in Foggy Mountain Breakdown, and y'all may call it the Foggy Mountain Breakdown role. I learned it as a double forward roll because it's it's a forward roll. So let's look at a forward roll that starts on the second string, and we're going to start our roll with our thumb. So two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. So let's do it again. Two, one, five, two, one, five. So thumb, middle, thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle. So that roll is repeatable. And then if we take two notes, if we take that roll, watch. Let me just start it again. So, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. So it just depends on where we start that roll. So basically we're just taking two notes from one end of the roll and moving them to the other end. And I'll, I'll put us a diagram here. Hopefully it'll make sense to you. But we're using that forward roll. And so our right hand continues to do a forward roll pattern. And that's where the extra comfort is going to come in later. As you practice this over and over, it, it's eventually, it'll make sense. I promise you. So put in the extra effort right now and, and use that thumb. Here's another thing that I learned when, when I started playing this song, Foggy Mountain Breakdown. But, so we're doing index, middle, thumb, middle, five, 
five, two, one, five. The first time you play it, try it with this thumb middle, thumb middle. So two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. And then every ups, every time you play it again, you start it with the index. Does that make sense? So thumb, thumb, index thumb. So there's you some things to work on. I promise you, I promise you, it, it'll make sense to you. But you, you're going to have to make the effort. And, and it's worth it because you're gonna use that role in tons more songs than just Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Well, I hope that helps, and if you like my content, maybe hit a thumbs up, hit the like button, maybe subscribe, and if you wanna get notifications, be sure to ring the bell. All right, folks, we'll see you around.